welcome students in my new tutorial and today i'll be teaching you how to save characters or combination of characters that is called strings in variable and how to print that variable in my last tutorial i have taught you how to use numbers and how to do basic calculations upon that numbers so now will be starting a program so i'll click upon file new file and as this new window opens i'm starting my program so first of all i'll just use the print command and i'll type here program to learn character and string so what it means See characters you know very well A B C D. When they are combined together, that is called a string. So for that I am using variables. Suppose I am taking variable A. A is equal to. See I can start with the bracket, and in bracket I can write here suppose I. This is okay. This is correct. And the other way I can write in this way B like B is equal to another variable I have taken. B is equal to suppose I am writing love and C. Now here you see I have not used the bracket, so this is also okay. This will also work. And third, I'll take C is equal to my parents. What I've done here. I have used three variables a, b, c, and I have saved i in a a variable, love in b variable, and my parents in c variable. Already I have taught you that variables are the memory locations, so they are the place where these strings or characters are saved. Now these strings, now here in this case they are strings, but if I am saving the numbers, they are also stored in the variable. So variables are just the address where that particular number or string is saved. So now I'll print this. For that I'm using the print command. And then suppose I'm writing here a, b, c. Firstly, I have to save this. and i'll click on desktop students and i have to give one name learning string save and once it's saved i'll press f5 function key see you could see here program to learn character and string and whatever i have saved in the variables that is been printed and uh, what I'll do here at the bottom on taskbar, these are the two windows, and this is my IDLE shell. And here I'm writing the program, so I'll be back in my coding window. So it seems okay, and I hope you have understood how I could save the character or string in the variable, and then I can print. So this was my just a short tutorial to teach you the way to save the string. With this, I'm closing this short tutorial. In my next tutorial, we'll be making one project. So I'm closing my tutorial. Bye-bye. Meet you soon in my next tutorial.